Thinks the Vince is bowled okay. One for 31 off eight. Callum has just cut the crease, he's got to find the boundary. Field well spread, third man, deep cover. Final leg square leg in a deep long on. Well, pitch should get two. Two off every delivery would be handy. One with two balls to spare. Anti climax. That's the first mile you've had for about four hours. They've got a big chance here. Got wickets in hand. 30,000 people here at Telstra's Home. Good crowd. And a good match. Good contest. That required 10 runs and over. And New Zealanders in the crowd. Got to hold it over. Cover should be four. That is four. Big one. Well, that changes things markedly. One or two to the right. And all of a sudden, Ricky Ponting. And his bowlers have some serious thinking to do. 26 off 16 all of a sudden is very gettable. A terrific eye, Brendan McCullum. Finally coming up inside the circle. Bang! Gone again, it's four more. They're on their feet, the New Zealanders. They're back in the game. Almost sound like you're enjoying this yourself, Phil. 22 off 15. Beige Brigade. They are celebrating. The captain and the crew are not yet. They know. With the four wickets in hand. They should win from here. Two boundaries on the trot. Good shots to found the gap at cover. The problem is, uh, we talked about this earlier for Australia, is the experience of bowling at this time of the innings. And at the moment, Michael Kasparitz is getting the length wrong. He's bowling half volleys. Push it to deep cover. They're through for one. That's all they'll get. It's McCollum has done the damage. Eleven and four balls this over. Sinclair's clapping. The captain's not sure what's happening. Harris is biting his nails. Well, what this will do if New Zealand does get home is lift the spirits markedly. It'll give them some belief that's been missing for the last two weeks. 21 from 14. Still a big ask. Runs on the board. Carl Mills. Slow ball, nicely timed, down the wrong up. Here comes the crowd, does he get it? It's four more, big dive, big over. The captain's on his feet, and so he should be. That is some shot from Hamish Marshall. Andrew Simons is the speech that that's why he's down at mid-off. And Marshall says, I can't believe how well I timed that, to be honest. But Kasperwitz again has got the length wrong. That's a half volley, which you can get your bat under. It's not good bowling, it's very, very good batting. Oh, Sam, four more down the right side. Four wides or four no balls, wait for the call. Four wides. Wow. Pressure does funny things to people. A week ago in white clothing, Michael Kasperwitz was an absolute hero, could do no wrong. And now, this ground is swallowing him up. 12 from 13 balls. 20 off the over. One ball to go. The batsman's pumped up. McCallum's on 12. Marshall's 46. He's found the boundary. Look at that. 2 4 4, 1 4 5. Last ball. Nicely played. At least one, they'll come back for two. They'll take him on. Yes, they will. Here they come. Excellent over for New Zealand. 22 off the over. 10 off 12 required. An office meeting. Ponting, Riemann, Lee, Gilchrist, Simons. 10 off 12. Well, Brett Lee now knows the game is in his hands. He has to bowl a magnificent over. He has to, first of all, break this partnership. Because it, 
Ponting knows New Zealand are more than capable of getting the runs required off one over. What he has to do also is guard against the fact that these two are whippets between the wickets. They don't have to hit boundaries to win the match. They can win it in ones and twos. So Ponting now has the predicament of trying to work out how he's going to shut them down in this over. He's already signalled to someone to bowl the last over. If he doesn't get it right, there'll be no need. I've got to get wickets the Australians. Get a new batsman to the crease for Tory, Mills or Butler. Then with Vittori, what a great over that was. 22 off the over for Michael Kapsevitz. Superb batting by McCallum and Marshall. McCallum's got 12 off five for two fours. McCallum's on strike. It's Brett Lee charging in for the bottom of the end. Crowd's roaring. Jeff for LB, not out. Duck ball. Outside the line of off stump. It was a decent enough delivery and what McCullum was trying to do is get inside the ball and help it down towards fine leg because fine leg is up. He was hoping to get it fine, he couldn't do it. He can't be out LBW because he struck outside the line of, of off stump playing a shot. And Steve Davis knows it straight away. Got to put bat on ball though. No fancy stuff here, but it's 10 off 11. Four wickets in hand. They should win from here, but will they? Field changes are plenty. Fine leg goes back because Ponding's aware of what McCallum has just tried to do. Now he's got three on the offside, so McCallum will try and open up that side of the park. You can't have players everywhere. Brett Lee's worried about where his fielders are. Charge has got an edge, just a single though. Will they come back for two? Happy with the single. Well, I think they could have come back for two there because Hogg never attacked the ball. He waited for the ball to come to him. I think Marshall was always going to get back for two. McCullum didn't quite know where the ball had gone. But uh, I think the Australians are feeling it as much as anybody. Nine off ten. Marshall's on 48. Doesn't matter, he just wants nine runs be a big win from the tail Marshall and McCallum in particular Lee charging in could be a run out he hits he doesn't one run eight off nine that's what this series needed what the summer needed a game with this kind of tension Damien Martin the chance to break the partnership and Damien Martin has missed out these are the ones you practice for that was close man it was close 8 off 9 it was a coat of varnish Martin did well it was well fielded well bowled well played 151.7, that was quick, and a 7 of 8. Well, they can do no more than that as a bowler, especially one that hasn't been out in the middle for quite some time, and that's a good moment. Lee says, I gave you my best shot. McCullum said, I did all I could to keep it out. Mutual admiration. First reverse swing. I think he said you were very lucky, mate. Keith Miller used to smile. 7 of 8. Four wickets in the hand. They should win it. Can they win it? Marshall on 49. That's 50 and that's well played, but it's not over. It's six off seven. Terrific innings. Spare a thought for this fellow who sat and watched the test matches when he may have played. He's got a good head on his shoulders. He's a tough little cookie. And now he's got to forget about the 50 and think about the game. They need to score off this ball too. I'm going to leave six for the final over. He runs off this final delivery from Brett Lee. Brett Lee and his eighth over has two for 39 of 7.5 overs. Six off seven. This 
needs to be a wicket for all one fours. Well struck down to one off. Single. It's going to be six off six, six for 242. Watson. Got it fine over the top. Oh, beautifully played for. That's a good shot under pressure. That is one of these shots. We've seen one of the great catches today, and now we've seen one of the great shots under pressure. That is unbelievable stuff. Running at Watson and helping over the top of Gilchrist, who can do nothing but look in despair. And look at Fleming. Look at Stephen Fleming. Shane Watson. No run, got ball. Wow. No need to panic though. Don't give me the eye like that. There's still a lot of tension. Daniel Vittori is a little bit more relaxed now. He may not have to be a part, although he bowled miraculously for New Zealand to get them back into the match in the first place. One run to win. Four balls remaining, wickets in hand, no longer an issue. Oh dear, got ball again, it's not over yet Ian Smith. No problem, no problem Bill, just settle back, settle back. I'll tell you what, there'll be a few television sets smashed in New Zealand if you don't win this one from here. Callum. There it is, big win for New Zealand. Wonderful victory. They were down and out. McCallum and Marshall have done the job, 38 off 20, a wonderful partnership. Who would have thought after Gilchrist took them apart that they could get back into this match in such an emphatic fashion. They haven't had many moments to celebrate in the last fortnight, fortnight but the Beige Brigade are on their feet and those that live around the Sydney area will be buying their tickets because this series is very much alive.